epic tales of ancient history have instructed humans through millennia. Fatal mines these archives, mostly focusing on what took place in the Mediterranean region. These stories and lands, known as the Cradle of Civilization, are some of the oldest points of reference in recorded history. Of Fatal's first sculptures, she made two standing figures called Adam at Eve, 1989, the first man and woman according to the biblical narrative recorded after the old Babylonian tale of Gilgamesh. Foils to Gilgamesh and Enkidu, these partners were similarly brought into the realm of mortal life and sin through a transgression. Instead of displeasing the gods, as Gilgamesh and Enkidu do, Adam and Eve displease a monotheistic god and are thus kicked out of paradise. There are billions of us on this planet. It's hard to believe we all came from one man and one woman. But we did. Who were they? When and where did they live? Jewish, Christian, and Muslim traditions trace us all back to Adam and Eve. The book of Genesis says they came from a place called Eden, near the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, somewhere in the ancient Near East. No one has yet found the location of the Garden of Eden, though many have tried. But why do we want to find it? Well, the reason is interesting. The Garden of Eden doesn't just represent the beginning of humanity. It is the beginning of our conversation with God. And finding out when and where that took place would tell us an awful lot about who we are. Simone Fatal was born in Damascus and grew up in Lebanon. She first studied philosophy at the École des Lettres of Beirut and then at the Sorbonne in Paris. In 1969 she returned to Beirut and started painting. She participated in numerous shows during the ten years when life in Lebanon was still possible. In 1980, fleeing the Civil War, she settled in California and founded the Post Apollo Press, a publishing house dedicated to innovative and experimental literary work. In 1988, she returned to artistic practice by doing ceramic sculptures after enrolling at the Art Institute of San Francisco.